Yamaha have built a special R1 in tribute to Valentino Rossi following his retirement from motorbike racing. But this isn't just a regular R1 with a fancy paint scheme on the fairings. That wouldn't be a fitting tribute to such an unprecedented career as Valentino Rossi's. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter. Let's dive into the details of the Yamaha R1 GYTR VR46 tribute. What Yamaha have produced is an extremely trick track prepared R1, which must be the ultimate R1 ever produced outside of a race paddock. It features selected parts from the GYTR or Genuine Yamaha Technology Racing Catalogue, but also many parts direct from the development of the World Superbike R1 race bike, the one that just won the World Superbike Championship in the hands of top rack Ratzgat Lioglu. The bike was presented to Rossi at the EICMA show and he is due to test it in Mazzano soon. The bike obviously has a new, unique paint scheme which was designed by Rossi's friend and longtime helmet designer Aldo Drudi. The paint scheme features Yamaha Racing Blue and VR46 Yellow as well as all the relevant logos and a Valley Yellow number 46 on the front. The fairings are an all new carbon fairing kit with racing screen from Will Superbike Development and the bike also features an all carbon rear subframe direct from World Superbike. The tank is also factory World Superbike at 22 litres and is black appearing to be unfinished as you find on many race bikes in pre-season testing. The exhaust is the Agropovich factory line system from the GYTR range and is complete with golden tip. The engine has a full factory World Superbike tune with Morelli REX140 ECU and wiring harness and the sensor kit from World Superbikes. It has the World Superbike spec air filter with head gasket, air funnel set and radiator kit from the GYTR catalogue. The electronic throttle is also GYTR supplied as is the slipper clutch. Yamaha haven't released power or torque figures for the bike, but it has to be right up there with the current World Superbike Spec R1s. Suspension is all World Superbike developed, with Olin's factory front forks, Olin's factory pneumatic adjustable rear shock, and an Olin side steering damper. The forks are mounted in an offset adjustable World Superbike developed triple clamp, and the bike also has the World Superbike underslung swing arm assembly. Brakes, as you would expect, are all Brent Ball World Superbike spec, including front and rear calipers and discs, along with the master cylinder. Wheels are by Marcassini, available through GYTR, and the handlebar set, switches, brake protector, and rear sets come from genuine Yamaha Technology Racing 2. To finish it off, there is a World Superbike derived chrome light dash with GPS. The GPS is to adjust the settings of the bike for particular parts of the track, not to give directions. And the dash is complete with a grazie valli message, as after all, this is the reason the bike was created, to say thank you to the nine time world champion. And where would Yamaha be without Rossi? In fact, where would MotoGP be without him? So it's a nice and fitting gesture that Yamaha created such a high spec bike to pay tribute to what Rossi achieved with them in MotoGP. So there you are, the ultimate R1 created outside of a race paddock. It's not one you can go out and buy, but it is still worth a look. But those are my thoughts. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts on the bike and where you think Yamaha or MotoGP would be without Rossi in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, it helps the channel and is always really appreciated. Remember to subscribe for new motorcycle videos each week, but whatever you do, have a great day and thanks for watching.